I'm live, I'm live, I'm live. I'm still gonna wash my hands again, so it's pointless to put these on. Um, I'll wash my hands again. Because <laughs> even with the gloves, I'll take the gloves off. I'll wash my hands again, people. Wash, wash, wash. I gotta have the cleanest hands. Hopefully not. Everybody should be washing their hands just as much right about now to keep from getting that corona. Hold on. This camera is dark. Just had a light spot. There we go. There we go. That's a lot better. Oh, hold on. I'm going to get it back. I'm going to get it back. Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Subscribe if you ain't. Thumbs up the video, please. So I can try to get some views around here because I don't get them. My views are going down worse and worse. Either YouTube is hating. I don't know. My views are terrible. I'm trying to get this lighting right. This might be part of the problem. I got to get a camera, y'all. Just left. Oh, ooh, we got light. And then it changed just from me moving. Come on now. Let's get up that good light we just had back. There we go. Stay. 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 It's going to change. It's Wow, it went down three levels. Well, I got one person watching now. I had three. Sorry. I'm trying to get the house started. Just wanted to be light enough for y'all. There we go. It, forget it. Forget it. Not in the mood to keep fooling with this stupid camera. It's as good as it's going to get. So I went to this Goodwill location. It's my first time going to this one since post quarantine. One of my Goodwills that I usually go to. I haven't been there since quarantine, but now I'm back. I, I mean, today was my first day back to this location. So I did a Thrift With Me video there as well. I did a Thrift With Me video as well, which I will link to this video once I upload it. Because I have two Thrift With Me's to upload. One from Saturday, the other Goodwill, and one from today. Let's get into it, see what I got. Got some... I say good deal. A lot of stuff to resell on Poshmark. Hope y'all having a great day. Starting your weekend off nice. And green was half off this week, and I didn't couldn't find nothing that I wanted to buy to resell. There was green tag. Everything seemed to be yellow or orange. So most of the things I got are yellow. But look, I got this little kid. It's a size eight Timberland. Timberland jacket. Nice condition, like it was never freaking worn. It is really like it was never worn. When I first saw it, I thought my nephew J3 could fit it, but nah, he ain't no size eight. Nice, nice little coat though. So I'm mean, this is gonna be on the posh mark. Look at the interior. Nice. It's like this kid didn't even really wear this coat. And it's black if you can't tell on the camera, it's black. And it smells freshly washed and everything. So yeah, but this will be on my Poshmark. I ain't, it's not on there yet. My Poshmark is La La B forty two. La La the letter B number forty two. That's my Poshmark closet. But this will be on there. Hopefully, I'm gonna get this stuff up tomorrow. I got stuff from what I hauled, showed y'all Saturday or Sunday that I hauled. That I got put on there. Some of that stuff was going on there too. So I'm gonna try to get this stuff up tomorrow. Cause I finally got that good unemployment. Yes, I did. And that was a blessing on top of a blessing. The family get it and get all that backpack. Finally. Finally. Okay. Now we got. Y'all don't want to talk to me today. It's all right. I'm just going to talk to myself because I do a good job at it. And look at this. And it, I'm, I think this is a real long chomp. Long chomp. How you say it? Long chomp. And it's a gray color one. Look at this. I saw that. I said, what? And it was a Kathy Ireland or something. Not Ireland. Kathy, Kathy something. It wasn't. I didn't get it. I didn't get that purse, but it was right beside it. I was like, hold up. These purses are right beside each other. Okay, I don't understand the point of this button here. What? But is there something missing? Is there a part missing to this purse? Because it has a button. What is that for? What am I missing here? So it must be a part piece missing. I didn't even notice that till just now that it has a button there. I mean, it's supposed to button here, so I don't know what that button's for. You don't flip this, and button it like this. You don't do that, do you? You don't do that. Why would you do that? That wouldn't make sense to me. 
but I don't see anything else that go would go to that button. I don't see that it should have handles. So if y'all know what's supposed to go to that extra button, then let me know because I don't have a clue. And nothing's missing from the bag. Are they just made like that or what? But yeah, I've seen that and I see it saw. This that's in good shape. The little the toggle, whatever you call it. I don't know. Zipper tag. Says long shop. And this is like it's is suede. So it's not pleather. This is leather and with suede. And it has the long shump little horse rider on it. And the straps are in great condition. And I got this for $4.29. I think is how much handbags are now. $4.29. $4.29 for long shop. It just has that, I think that marker come off. You can't even see it on camera, but it's just tiny. Let me see if I can turn. Yeah, that little spot right there. Tiny spot on it. But I think it'll wipe right off. But the straps are in excellent condition. But I don't understand what that is. I don't know much about long shops, but I don't understand what that button on the back is. I don't know. Maybe when you fold the fold, I don't know. I ain't even gonna try to guess, but it's in great condition and it works. And it was four dollars and twenty nine cents. It was not marked up, so that's not bad. It's going on my Poshmark. I showed y'all it. Oh, I didn't show y'all that they had the clear sticker on the inside because I know they say other thrifters say that this means it's authentic when it has these the clear sticker right here on the inside supposedly. So this one does, because I've thrifted one before that did not have that clear sticker on the inside. And the, by the quality of the leather, it has to be a real long shot. I got lucky and got it for $4.29. Long shot. Thought that was an awesome find. If y'all talking to me, I'm not ignoring. I just don't see any comments. Okay, there. Hey, Noble. Hey, Noble. I was going to say, if y'all talking to me, I don't see no comments. I've been out here for seven minutes. It had been people in here, but I'm like, I don't know. Sometimes YouTube acts silly. Then I got this little cute little leather vintage bag. Look at this. Did you see the long shop, uh, Noble? I got this for four twenty nine. dollars was over at the regular bags, and it's real. It's real. This is real good leather. Four dollars and twenty nine cents. Good leather, and it has the little clear tag inside. That little clear tag they say that the authentic ones have. And of course, it has a tag here as well. You might know about long shops. Do you know about long shops? No, but what the heck is this? What's this button for? On the back, I don't. I don't get the purpose of that. I don't understand. And there's nothing missing from the bag, so I don't understand what that. What is that for? Which movie was you watching? Which movie did I recommend? I recommended a lot of Nollywood movies. The last video. And th this is a little vintage. It has to be leather. This feels like real leather to me. It does not feel fake. And it looks like a vintage bag. And it doesn't have a brand or anything. Just looks like that on the inside. But I thought it was adorable. And the leather still in great shape. It's a nice one leather. It cannot be pleather because this is too nice of a... This is nice. And it was $4.29. And it's cute! Can't you just style it? I'm going to style this. I'm keeping this for me. This is this is me. This is staying with me. I know, ain't it? It's cute! But it don't have a brand or nothing. It's just a vintage handbag. I said, I'm getting that. That is cute. And that is me because it's just a little bitty old bag. Yeah, it don't have a brand. The straps, I ain't, it's things in great condition. Look at that. Straps, perfect condition. This bag is in perfect condition. That's me. That's mine. My little vintage baby bag. Then I got. Oh, I, yeah. I forgot to put. Got this pleather, or as they say, faux leather, leather, or what do they say? Vintage leather, vegan leather, whatever you want to call it. I got this to put on my Poshmark because it's a Hollister coat. It was six dollars and twenty nine cent because it's yellow tag. Green tag was half off, as I said earlier. And I got nothing green tag. But I said this is Hollister, so I don't think I can make my money back off of it. Yeah, it's a little 
time symbol there. I just assumed this ain't leather because leather because it doesn't feel like leather, but I didn't open it up to check. Oh, there's no other extra tag on it. It's only got this tag up here and it says made in China. So yeah, I assume this is not leather because it feels like vegan leather, but it's a good vegan leather, a real good vegan leather. It's heavy too. This is a, like a winter coat. Heavy, it will keep you warm. So this will be on my posh, $6.29. That's what I got it for. Somebody's going to get a nice little winter coat. Oh, okay. I was wondering because I'm like, the only thing I could see is you fold the top piece and clip it to it, the little flap backwards and clip it to that. But I'm like, why would you do it? Because you roll it up. That's what you do, like roll it up and then you clip that to that button. Okay. Thank you, Noble. I knew you would know. <laughs> Thank you. Then I got this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I'm going to style this in the fall. Look at this. It's gray and white. I can't tell. In the, yeah, gray and white. But look, it's like a shiny. Can you see the shiny? I can't really see this. It's like a, I'm assuming it's like nylon. Let me see what fabric this is. But it's a guess. Little trench, I'm guessing. Little trench coat is a large. So I knew it would fit, but it's just cute. Look at that. I'm going to stay out at y'all. Y'all just don't know. Because I am. I snatched that up so quick, and it was regular price, $6.29. Wasn't half off, but it was worth the $6.29 to me because I'm like, this is stylish right here. This $6.29 for this, and it looks brand new. Look like didn't nobody wear it. It has, like, as you see, it got a white interior. This white interior is not dirty at all. At all. Shoot, you look like they must have wore it one time if they wore it at all. And I like this little detail on the, they put tied them in little bowls. That's cute how they did that, tied it in the bow. And, of course, it has a belt with it, too. And the zipper with the little, it has the G symbol on it. But it has like shiny buttons. It's, I like this. I can't wait to style this in the fall with a church outfit. Mm -mm -mm. Style that. Then got this one. I think I'm gonna put this one on my posh. I don't want it, and it's rare that I don't want these. But I got enough of products in this brand. But this is a Lauren by Ralph Lauren, and this is a large. But look at the collar. I got it because look at that. Look at that collar. So, so you can wear it down or you can flip it up. And that is so cute. It's like a vegan leather. I don't think that's leather. Let's see if it says anything about some leather on here. Mm -mm. Yeah, it does. It says the trim. Trim is 100% leather. So that is leather. It's like a real soft leather too. So this right here is leather. And that is leather. And it's like a lamb's. I don't know. It's really soft leather too. So hey, that's a that done up the price. That done up the price because it's not just on the, it's not just on the this part that buttons up. You button it and wear it like this. If you want to wear it like that. Oh no, you don't do that. Don't listen to me. There's the here's the snap here. Don't I was not paying attention. I thought it didn't look right once it got clipped up. So you wear it like that. Ain't that cute? You can wear it like that or wear the collar down. Either way you want to do it, but then look at the sleeve. Welcome, welcome all that's watching. Can you please thumbs up the video? Please, please. It don't really help, but it helps if I can get a whole bunch of thumbs up. So I just always say it just in case I might one day get a lot of thumbs up. Some videos have a lot of thumbs up. Wow, you had two. So you got to watch out for those pages because I've seen some pages and then I've seen people in the comments. I haven't got my item, haven't got my item. And it'd be forever and the person's not responding no more. So I always make sure there's no comments with people complaining on stuff that has been sold already. I go and look at stuff on that same closet and see if people's complaining about them not getting their items because there's been a lot of fake postures popping up on there. I don't know why they don't realize they're not going to get the money if they don't send the item. Duh. But yeah, it has the leather trim on the sleeves too. You can wear them down or you can fold them and show the leather. 
So I thought this was a nice find. Lauren by Ralph Lauren, size large, and it will be on my, I think it's a little stretchy too. Uh, not really. Let me see. There's a little bit of stretch to it. See that? A little bit of stretch. But it's a nice coat, jacket, coat, whatever you want to call it. It's nice. So that will, this will be on my Poshmark. And it buttons up. It does not zip up, as you see. It does not zip up. It just buttons up. But it's a nice coat. Very nice. Uh, very nice coat. Yeah, there you go. Let's see what it looks like button. I ain't button all the buttons. But button, button a lot of them. This is a nice Lauren by Ralph Lauren. It would be on my Poshmark hopefully tomorrow. Okay, and then I got another coat. Another, another coat. Yeah, this green. Can you tell it's green? What color does it look like to y'all? Can you tell it's green? Look at that. It's a vintage, of course. Like a bomber jacket. Leather, green, bomber jacket. You like that Ralph Lauren coat? It's a large. Would that fit you, though? A large? Is that not too big for you? It's going to be on the posh. If you want it, just comment and I'll lower the price. I hope to get it, but all this stuff and the stuff I threw the other day that I'm putting on my store listed tomorrow. Tomorrow should be a listing day for me. Now that I can go buy my printer, I can get back to listing. Oh, I said, you hear me? I, you do it in here when I said I finally got my unemployment. Woohoo! Finally got it, Noble. So that's why I'm thrifting. And that's why. But this is like a hunter green. I don't. Y'all can't even tell. Yeah, I'm assuming y'all can tell that's green. I could. I tell because I know. But yeah, it's a. It's not a hunter green, really. It's a. I don't know what color green you would call this. It's a little. I guess it's hunter, but a little lighter. But it's nice, and then it has this. That's detail on the sleeves because it's vintage. But then it has a little tassel on the zip, and it zips good. Let's open it up. Let's open it up to see the interior. Cause I didn't do that, but it's fine. Nothing's wrong with the interior and it's dark green as well. And this is a leather G3 global identity uh, bomber coat. And it will be on my Poshmark. It's a size large. Size large. If you like vintage leather coats, vintage bomber coats, this stuff is coming back. I've seen a lot of thrifters styling this vintage stuff up, these bomber coats and stuff up. Yeah, it did. I, I, I had to go to the Capitol. I, luckily, I ca contacted that newsman and, and he called me. He was like, they're going to have specialists at the Capitol. That was on Tuesday. I ran down to Frankfurt. I ran. I drove. I ain't run. I drove my car, but I went quickly. Went quickly. And got that fixed. And it was just a push of a button like I thought. So this coat, look at this coat, y'all. Ain't this bougie? Ain't this coat bougie? Look at this old bougie coat. Look at it. It's bougie. And it is 100% cashmere. That's why I snatched this up. And this is going on my Poshmark as well. So CFC is the brand. But I looked up on eBay. That's why I looked. I, was like, I looked online just to see how much people are reselling this brand for. Um, I saw one on eBay for 155 one, another one on eBay for like 78 something like that. So this brand is selling, let's say, 100% cashmere. And the brand is CFC. And it has, I, I'm assuming this is faux fur. Yeah, because it's not shedding or anything. It's faux fur, but it's a nice faux fur collar. So, yeah, this will be up on my posh. It doesn't have a size, so I guess I'm going to have to put it by measurements, but I would say, I would say, I don't know. I ain't going to say I would say nothing. I'm going to put it by measurements. Measure it and then put it on my posh. So, I don't know if this will be up tomorrow because I have to find my measuring tape. So, that might not be on my posh tomorrow, but it'll be up before winter time. Nice winter coat for somebody. And then I got these brand new with tags. Cause I like them. Look at these bright colors. Look at these bright colors. Nice for summer. And they got uh, ends like this. Look, 
elastic ends. They my size. I got these for myself because I wanted to be bright. I wanted to be bright. These are size large and they stretch, stretch, stretch. Red Fox is the brand. Designed in the USA since 1987. Came from Rue 21. But it was at the Goodwill. So it's new with tags. But the regular price was it's on this tag. See, the regular price was $39.99, but it was, got it at the Goodwill for $4.59. Four dollars and nice and stretchy. Might be good airplane pants. Who knows? I'm going to wear my bright pants. I like these bright pants. I don't know if I'll wear a black top with it or an orange top, too. Probably not. Probably this red color that's in there. Maroon. It's like a maroon color. I think I'll probably do the maroon, a maroon top. The room top will be nice. Yeah, I'm just gonna probably style it with that with a maroon top. You could, I mean, you could do it with a black or orange top, but I don't want to be that bright. The pants is already bright enough, so I probably would style it with a maroon fitted t-shirt or something. Fitted maroon tee. This just casual styling, but you could also dress this up if you wanted to, just because they they have the elastic ends. So I don't know how you what what kind of top would dress it up. Maybe like a uh, spaghetti strap top and some heels. Wear like a spaghetti strap top in maroon or black with some black heels. That would be cute if you wanted to dress it up. So you can dress these up or dress them down. That's the good thing about these little pants. But I'm going to style them. But I think I'm just going to style them casual when I first wear them. I don't know if I'll ever do the dressy version. I mean, it would be cute, though, dressed up maybe just for some Instagram pictures. I might dress it up just for an Instagram picture, just to style it. Who knows what I'll do. But to wear every day or to wear when I wear it around, it'll probably just be some tennis shoes, some black tennis shoes. I don't have any maroon tennis shoes. But some black tennis shoes and maybe a maroon fitted tee or a v-neck tee. If I had some orange, some tennis shoes in orange or maroon, could do that too. But I don't have any tennis shoes, I don't think, in those colors. Not to my knowledge, but I got a lot of shoes, so I don't know. And here we go. Get to the last bag of stuff. And this is a gift with purchase, but it's brand new. It's still got the packaging and everything on it. The person didn't even open it up. And I saw it and I said, what? What? This is Michael Kors. It's a gift with purchase, though, but it's still Michael Kors. And it's a duffel bag. A duffel bag. I don't know if I'm going to put this on my posh or use this as like my carry-on purse on the airplane, but I don't, I think it might, I think your carry-on purse has certain measurements. But it's a good overnight bag and it's a gift with purchase because it says your gift. Your gift is cute. Cute. Nice duffel. See, it's a duffel bag. I, I'm thinking I'm gonna keep it for myself, but I don't know. I don't know. It might go on posh, but I'm think I'm gonna look them up and see how much they sell for on posh. They don't sell for that much. Because I paid four dollars and fifty nine cent for them. Or four twenty nine. That's how much purses are. Four dollars and twenty nine cent for it. So if it don't sell, if it only sells for like fifteen or something like that, I might just psh, keep it because it's a gift for purchase. So it might not sell high. Then I got these LeBron James. I'm gonna have to clean them up. Just gotta clean them up real good and get them on there. I, I was wondering if they fit my nephew J three, but I think his feet are bigger than this now. But I will find out before I put them on posh. Because if he likes them, LeBron James, he can have them. I don't even know if he knows who LeBron James is, but just saying. Once I clean them up, if he likes them, he can have them. They was a dollar ninety nine because they kid shoes. Dollar ninety nine for some LeBron James. That's what the colors are on the tongue. It's like a turquoise and an orange, red on red orange, burnt orange, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, got some little behind James for kids. Dollar ninety nine. 
size. Let's see what size they are. They are size six youth, six Y. So yeah. And they were sold at the Rekid for six ninety nine, but I got them for a dollar ninety nine. They got a Rekid sticker on the inside there, so they tried to sell it at Rekid, and they just took it to the good, or either they bought it at Rekid, maybe it didn't fit the kid, and they took it to the Goodwill. I don't know, but I got them for a dollar ninety nine. And of course, I know I don't need it. I know I don't need no more shoes, but these are really, really, really cute. And I don't have no shoes like this. See, they they another crack of their print. Uh, and they look like they they're uh this guy a two root chain or two root chain. His shoes are not cheap if you buy them in the store. Neither, and they're size ten. They're brown if you can't tell. They're not maroon. They're brown, and they're not black. They're chocolate brown. I'm trying to get the lighting where y'all can see. But you can't because it's just going to look chocolate brown. Let me see. Pull them in. There we go. Y'all can kind of tell it's chocolate brown. Chocolate brown. And they're in great condition. And they're mine, mine, mine. There's the soles. Maybe they wore them one time. They're 10 medium. But I'm like, I looked at this part because there's no nicks, no scratches on the heels, no nothing. These are in. Perfect condition. They mine, 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 mine. Like those little things on uh, Finding Nemo. Mine, 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 mine. Those are mine. Okay, then I'm gonna show you some more. Please thumbs up the video, people, and welcome to my live chat. I see it's four people in here. Can I get four thumbs ups, please, people? I'm trying to entertain some folks. Okay, and this is a nice belt. Belts are MJ and Paul. Is that the name of those things that say mine, 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 MJ and Paul? <laughs> this is just a nice, really nice leather belt. I think it's a men's belt. I mean, I don't know. It looks like a men's belt to me. So it look like Tia. Does it look like a men's belt or a women's belt? It looks like a man's. There has this detail. It kind of looks Native American. The detail on the belt, but it's a good quality belt. Dollar ninety nine. Hey, Dolores. Hey, 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 hey. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I still got a bit, a little bit stuff left with the show, so you ain't too late. You ain't miss it all. You didn't miss it all. Thank y'all for the thumbs up. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. I'm gonna do a little dance. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. And thank y'all for watching me in my boring, crazy self. Yeah, that this belt. I think that's a man's belt. Uh, then I got this belt. They have some really good leather quality belts. Uh, I don't know what brand. That one didn't have a brand on it either, but look at this. It looks brand new. It was in good shape. And it's real heavy and sturdy leather. Look at that. I assume this is a man's belt too. Because it looks like it is, but I don't know. Wait, I think. Is that a man's belt or is that a woman's belt? Yeah, you got to see because you missed some good stuff. You miss it, but I still got a little bit of good stuff in the bag. So you ain't miss all the good stuff for you. This belt with $1.99. And it doesn't have, oh, maybe it does underneath here. Let's see. It has a brand. Oh, oh, this is a coach belt. This is a coach belt. I got a lot of coach belts. But I didn't realize this one was a coach belt because I didn't move the sticker around. So I got a coach belt with that. I just like this is some good quality leather but it's a coach belt so i guess it is a women's belt i know coach makes stuff for men but i don't know do you think this is coach men's or do you think it's coach see it's coach can y'all see coach yes it is and it's a size 10 so this is if it got size 10 on her that's a woman's belt that's my size that's my size that's my, that's my size i might be keeping this belt to put this on over a dress it's like a summer dress it's a nice belt right here nice sturdy belt Oh, you think it's a men's, but it's a size 10. So that's why I said it must be a woman's because they would, it would say like 32 or 36 or something like that. If it was men's, that says size 10. 
So that's got to be a woman's belt. The other belt, though, I think is a man's. This is a, another coach belt that I found. Of course, I couldn't miss that with all the C's on it. I was like, it's a coach belt. Dollar ninety nine. They don't got like this stain on the inside, but who's going to be looking at the inside? It's a bell. Probably got water damage. I guess that's water damage. But yeah, nice coach belts I got for $1.99. They was slipping. They didn't mark these coach belts up. And they good. These coach belts are good, good, good. This is brown. Kind of zoom in so y'all can see. That made it look black. <laughs> I shouldn't have zoomed in. It's brown though. Y'all can tell when it's far back. Because when I zoomed in, it looked black. It's brown. Not black. And this one for $1.99. I think this one was a coach one too. Let me see. Because I thought I moved removed. Or I just got it because it was nice leather. Men's belt. I think that's what it was. Yeah, because it don't have oh no, it is a coach. It's a coach and I hit a lick. If y'all can only see, but yeah, it's a coach too. I thought this thing this is a man, but I think it's a women's. It's, no, it's a 36, so it's a man's belt. Yeah, because the size says 36. And it's 90 centimeters. So this is a man's, a coach men's belt. I got some coach women's belts and the coach. Let's see what this one is. I assume this was a woman's, but let me see what the size and says on this. 36. So this must be a men's belt too. This one right here with the C's is a size 36. So both of these are that size 36. Um, Coach Bebs. Nice, nice. Oh, have to look on Posh, see how much Coach Bebs go for to decide whether I'm going to put them on Posh or give them to my son and my fiat to be on. Add, they could just have to add some extra holes because they ain't no 36. And this is a what do y'all think this is? I, I bet you'll think it is what I thought it was, but what kind of belt do you think this is? I want y'all to guess. I want somebody to guess what kind of belt they think this is. My camera must be a little dirty on that end. Let me wipe it with my shirt. No, I'm not. Over. I don't like my camera to be fuzzy. Now I messed up the lighting. Uh, I keep moving this stupid camera, messing with the stupid lighting. I got all this stuff on my bed. Just the beds. Let me try to fix the lighting somewhere to uh, see this thing tricks you. This is why I gotta get a camera. Okay. Brighting, brighten. That's y'all guessing y'all both wrong. Y'all both wrong because I was wrong too. Y'all both wrong because I was wrong too. Look what brand this is. It tricked me too. I can't say anything. And it was $1.99. But it tricked me. Can y'all see that? Can y'all read that? Ha ha ha. Y'all read that. Y'all see that. It's not brighting. It's fossil. So fossil must have been trying to be like Brighton because I thought Brighton, Brighton, let me say it right. But it's not, it's fossil. Fossil, fossil, fossil. And the size is, let's see what the size, medium. So size medium. So this will probably be on my posh, depending on what they sell for. If they don't sell for much, then I'm not putting them on there. But if they sell for at least 20 bucks, then they'll go on my posh. Cute little fossil belt. Yep, that's why I thought too, because those hearts with fossil tricked us. Fossils pulled a good, pulled a good, um, what they say that pulled a good one on you? Yeah, fossil pulled one on us. Another tie. <clears throat> Just got this tie because I like the colors in it. See those colors? See those pretty colors? See those colors? And it's a gap. Tie, $1.99. It's all about the colors. That's why I got it in the design. That's why you got that. Here's another belt. It's the Nike. It's a Nike belt. And this is one of those Nike belts you remove. My son has a belt like this. 
Is this not, is this broken? I think it's broken. I shouldn't have bought this stupid app. Hold on, I'm trying to see. It don't look like it has no pieces missing on it, so maybe. I think I just don't know how to work this bit. I don't know if it's broken or if it just don't. I can't tell. Oh, I don't think it's closed, that's why. Cause it's like this on this side. It's just one of those cloth Nike belts that you can put different color straps in. But I gotta figure out how it goes, cause yeah, I don't. I'm not understanding how to keep the Nike thing from flapping back and forth right now. But it doesn't look like anything's broken off of it. But it was a dollar ninety nine for a little Nike belt. And then got this, which is another Coach belt. Told y'all I got Coach overload on the belts. Coach, 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 coach. And this has to be a women's belt. Woman's belt. It's a medium. So this is a woman's belt. It is a medium. Nice little thin coach belt. Has that little detail. Put the, that's what goes on. Put your loop. Put the loop. Here we go. Loop de loop. Here we go. Loop de la. Nice little coach belt. Have you a nice little old coach belt? And then last but not least to me, this, this is mine too. Look at this. It feels so nice. It feels so wonderful. It's just fantastic. And it's so clean. It's so fresh and so clean. Clean is just mit missing a button, but the buttons look like this. And I can, I think I have buttons similar where I can buy some, but I, yeah. But that part of me, if they ain't that similar, but I do have buttons that look like this on the, this part. So I can put the button on there. I had to get the coat because the coat is banging. Look at that. It is the limited and a scandal, a scandal collection. So I guess it's Olivia Pope. Olivia Pope. But there's a button back here. So I could take the button off here and put a different button that has this fabric. Just sew the two on the sleeves. Not the sleeves, just so the two on the front match and then just put a different one right here. That would be the good plan. Because <laughs> that's really the only thing wrong. And you can leave, leave them folded down or fold them up. And this is a size small. So I thought it wouldn't fit me, but I tried it on because I wanted this coat. It was $6.29, $6.29. But it's worth it. It's a the limited scandal edition, which I thought I'm sure cost, cost more than regular limited stuff. And it just feels so wonderful and looks so wonderful. Let me show y'all. Let me put it on for y'all. I tried it on in the store. I don't never try nothing on the Goodwill, but I said I'm going to try this on because it's too cute. And I, and I wanted to see if it fit me. I was going to get it to resell anyway, but I wanted to see if it fit me because I wanted it for myself. And it fits me. It barely fits, but it fits. I don't have to squeeze into it. It's just a little tight around the shoulders because it has interior shoulder pads. But look at that. I can't get it all the way over, so I probably won't worry about no button. I can get it, well, this button, but that, yeah, that top one, uh -uh. that top one, uh -uh. it ain't going nowhere, but I don't care. I like the coat. Yeah, I, don't, I don't have to have the top part button, but I can at least get the bottom one button. And then it, let me get this around so I can tie it, show y'all how cute this coat is. Oh, supposed to loop it through. This belt is long, and I put it through wrong. Hold on, let me get the belt together, y'all. I got it flipped and stuff. There we go. Now I got the belt together. Look at this. Whoa, I'm rocking this. Olivia Pope. But I ain't sleeping with the president. I would never touch that nasty man. If anybody touch him, they disgusting. He's disgusting. If he even touch himself, he's disgusting. Dang, I can't do the belt. Because it's over here stuck. Why is it stuck? It won't move on this side. Oh, because it has loops in the back, too. I forgot. Forgot. When you get a coat that fancy, you forget that it has loops in the back. And that's where it was stuck at, and the loops in the back. But anyway, get my Olivia Pope on, y'all. 
I cannot tighten this belt. This belt is hard. Oh, it has. Oh, no, this piece came off. Now I got to fix that, too. I don't care. I fix everything on this coat because I like this coat. I'll fix the whole coat if I have to. So you really don't need that piece because you just look it around like that. Ugh. I'm trying to get it to there. I think I finally got the belt loop where it needs to be. Yeah. See my, ooh, got my Olivia Pope on. I don't have to fasten the top. I don't care. I don't care. The boots is a little too big for the small jacket, but that's all right. We Olivia Pope in it today. We Olivia Pope in it today. Oh, yes, we are. Oh, I got to show y'all the back. Oh, let me scoot it back some more so y'all can see the hood. Scoot it back some more. For the fact of this jacket. For the fact. Oh, he got some shoulder pads. But wear this with a cute little dress and just be thinking I'm doing something. And these sleeves fold up. So you fold these up. I know. I'm going to be styling this now. I'm going to style this coat. I just got a few little sewing things to do on it. And it's all right. Look at that. Fits my arms perfectly. And I got long arms. Fits my arms perfectly. Woo! And just imagine this with some knee boots. Cute dress. A cute little dress I need for here. Could be sleeveless dress or just a cute little dress. And they have you some knee boots, any color, any color. You styling and profiling. Yeah, I'm going to take that button from the back and put it right here. And then put a pearl, just a pearl button um, on the back. Because I need all four of these buttons to match. But yeah. I'm thinking I'm doing something, y'all. Uh, there's supposed to be a button, I guess, on this side, too. Yep. So that's probably why they, they put it to the good because these buttons is missing, but I don't need this. Hey, I can take this button and put it down here because I don't need no buttons up here. I don't need this to be buttoned. Or do I? Do I want it to be buttoned? No, it looks stupid because it's making this come up if I even take it. You have to go like it and then to button this. Hey, Dara. Hey. Hey, Dara's life. That's your daughter's page. Your real name is. Ah, I gotta remember your real name. I always forget. Is it Mandu? Mandu. Yeah, see, see, we don't need them buttons, button. So that button can come off and go right there. I ain't even gotta take the one off the back now. And I'm just gonna remove the strings and they won't ever know there were some buttons up there because it looks stupid. It looks real stupid to me. I mean, what's wrong with that? That does not even look cute. That don't look cute button. It's just there for fashion so it can come off and go down here where the one's missing. Oh man, do I got you. I got it correct. My memory's better. But this look at that. I have my little scandal a tote on. Look at that. Look at y'all. Let me fold. I gotta close it back up. I should have left the belt closed. Look at that. Have my my scandal, um, my limited scandal jacket on with my Michael Kors uh duffel bag. Going somewhere like I'm going on a business trip on the airplane. And uh, yeah, take it to the, in the airport. I'll dress the psh, I ain't wearing no coat like this in no airport unless it's a winter, winter time. But I would because it's it with this. And I got some gold D boots, but I wouldn't do that much. Not to no airport. Not to no airport. But I would it, it goes good. Just do it this. They go good. I love this coat, y'all. I love it. It's so stylish. I've been wanting some cute, like, I don't know if you call these trench coats, peak pea coats, but these are long pea coats. So I kind of consider them more trench coats because they're they're pretty long. They come down to my See how far it comes? Let me show y'all how far. See? Comes. I can wear it as a dress for real. Really? That's how far it comes. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad my memory's sharp. I'm glad I got it right. 
Okay, so that is the conclusion of the thrift haul. But I do have one more bag part just to add into the haul. Um, if you ain't thumbs up the video, make sure you thumbs me up, please. And uh, let me get this put it down here with the rest of the thrift of stuff. I have it's not good. This is not a goodwill part, but this is shopping. I went to Rose's discount today and got a few things. Father's Day, my, my fiance's birthday again. I was skipping family stuff. But uh, then I got myself some stuff from Rose's because they had some cute um, African style stuff. Bring the camera back. Bring it back. Bring my camera back. So I got myself a few things from Rose's discount. Rose's discount. African style stuff. Our roses carries African style stuff. Look at that. Isn't that cute? It's just a little top. Just a top. But it's cute. And it's made. This fabric is thick. It's thick like the fabric that I buy to make African stuff. The wax print fabric is thick like that. And it's just cute. Look at that. And that's, yeah, that's how it's going to look when it's on. Because it will be fitted down here. And it'll be just cute like it had all floppy and stuff up here. It's off shoulder. You can wear it off shoulder or on shoulder. And this was $7 on clearance. $9.99 regular price. And then I got another one. Boom. And a different color in blue. The blue is, look at that. That's really cute. Let me stand up and show it with my jeans. Make sure my jeans are zipped up. <laughs> they was they was zipped but they went they was slipping. They was slipping but look at that. Show it with my jeans. <laughs> Keep moving this. Oh man I messed up the light. But yeah. Wear that with some jeans. Wear it like see that's how it's supposed to look when it's on um, fit it like that, and then this part is like this and loose. Get the light back, right? And get the light back. No, I can't put it that way. If I turn it that way, it takes the light away. There we go. But yeah, this is really cute. And this was seven bucks as well on clearance. And then I got this dress. This was twelve ninety nine, but it's such a cute little blue jean and dashiki print dress that I had to get it. I kept thinking about it, thinking about it. Like I don't want to pay twelve ninety nine for nothing for roses. I don't want to pay twelve ninety nine for nothing for roses, but I went on and got it because it's cute with the trim on the ends and the back. It's just all blue jean. The back is no trim, but the front is where the trim is. <coughs> Excuse me. No corona. And this is medium. And yeah, it was 12 by nine. It wasn't on clearance. But it's a cute little dress. Thank you, Dar. Thank I mean thank you, Mandu. Mandu. And then last but not least, I think it's only one more thing here. Yeah. I had to show this. I had to get this just because what it says and it's cute. Look what they got. Yeah, it was only one in there too. Maybe the rest of them got sold out. It said, I'm social distancing. I'm a social distancing. I'm a social distancing queen. Queen. And she got her little mask on. I said, well, people are profiting off this corona. Ain't they? they ain't made social distancing clothes. Got the fringe on the bottom. Fringe on the sides. I probably wear this. I can you can wear this with these. I can wear it with these jeans I got on, but I ain't gonna wear it with jeans. It, it'd be cute with jeans, but I really want to wear it with like some biker shorts or some shorts, just some fitted something with one of these any of these colors. I was trying to really get this green. That's why I was trying to get this pink or this green. Or you can do that. I got some shorts that color. So that's probably what I do. I forgot. I didn't pay attention to this hair this color. I already have some fitted shorts in that blue color. So that's probably what I'm gonna. Wear with this, but I love it. Says I'm a social distancing queen, <laughs> and I am because I make sure I have my mask on wherever I go. And when people get too close to me in the aisles, I run. I don't really take off running, but I start walking really, really fast. 
because you're not following the instructions. It says six feet. You don't follow the instructions till you get to the counter. No, you're supposed to follow the instructions all around the store. Not just when you get to the counter. Some people don't even follow it at the counter. And that's the same people that don't be having their mask on. The mask might not protect you all the way, but the mask protects you a little bit. So I'm, I'd rather have a little bit of protection than no protection at all. Shoot. But that's it. How about other stuff for me? I'm y'all probably tired of seeing my uh, house about that. And that's just, it was just some stuff from, uh, unless y'all want to see the other stuff I bought. I can't show my Father's Day gift. Can't show that because I don't know if my daddy watches me. I don't think he does, but you never know who watches you back off in the cut and sees your videos when you don't think people watch. Because my family don't be saying nothing, but then later they'll be like, I saw your video. I saw your video. So I don't know if he watches. I don't think he does, though. But I'm not going to take that chance. But if y'all want to see the other stuff that I bought at Roses, it's men's wear. Just cute t shirts. And then I bought a pair of jean shorts at City Trends. I got my dad's stuff from City Trends. He likes City Trends type stuff. All right, so this is going to be the end of it. That's the end of my haul. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And I thank y'all so much for coming in. If you're not subscribed to my channel, which I think everybody in here is, and I thank y'all for being part of Team Random. But if you ain't, then please subscribe. And make sure you click the notification bell so you know when I go live because YouTube be tripping. If you clicked it and you ain't seen the notifications, make sure you unclick it and click it again. YouTube be tripping. So, got to get the little views I can get. I'm trying, y'all. Uh, now you're going to say show it. <laughs> My allergies are acting up. <coughs> I got a milkshake over here. Hopefully it ain't. I think it done melted. Mm -mm. It's actually perfect now because before it was just ice cream. Now it's actually a milkshake. I almost touched my straw. I had to catch myself because I ain't washed my hands from touching this Goodwill stuff. I sprayed it down with scent. I sprayed the Goodwill stuff with disinfectant uh, a couple of a few hours ago. So I did disinfect the bags. Um so this is the bag I can show. This is the stuff I got my fiance, some extra stuff for his birthday. Some I'm gonna send to him, some I'm not. He'll get it when he gets here, but he already seen me. I showed it to him. Just some little casual clothes for him. Casual. These, these little jean shorts. They're fitted, like stretchy. Fit. He likes this type of stuff that's ripped and stuff. Got these at City Trends, and they were regular $55. City Trends price $17.99. The brand is W A I M E A Waymia. I thought these were cute. Can you see the details on the stuff? And look at that detail on the stuff in the slips. And almost every t shirt I got them. Uh, Tess, you're going back and forth between lives trying to support everyone. I only got this last little bag from uh, all this in this bag came from Roses, too. Roses discount, too. See, roses. Except for this. I put this in that bag. This came from City Trends. City Trends. This all the shirts I'm about to show all these t-shirts were three ninety nine. I think this was three ninety nine, but yeah, three ninety nine. Roses is pretty affordable with t-shirts. Three ninety nine. This is like an athletic shirt. He says I'm about some bright colors, so I said I'm gonna give him some bright stuff. And I got him this. It's Jordan esque, Jordan Mike t-shirt. It's not bad, Jordan, but you know, it says greatest twenty three. Greatest of all time, 23, and the colors of Jordan's, most Jordan's shoes, the original Jordan shoes, and that, this on the heel of the Jordan shoes, this design. And then in the 23, it says all day, every day, all day, every day. I got it because it was this bright green. Ta! <laughs> the best dressed newbie way. He already dresses nice anyway because he worked in the bank. But I, so I just got him some casual stuff. Because, I mean, he already got the suits and stuff. He gets some casual wear, too. But he complaining. Because he talking about, no, I need to get rid of some of those clothes. That's like, you just want me to send these. I need to wait till you get here. <laughs> he just, if he can see clothes, he want them sent. 
I ain't sent him nothing in the mail. I said, I'm going to try it then because I ain't never sent you nothing in the mail. I'm going to send a little bit of them. I ain't sending all of them. Not, of course, not the whole closet. I'm just going to send this new stuff. I probably want to send to him so he can wear it over there. And I thought I had this one to myself because I didn't think he would like this one. I didn't know. But all these shirts match gold. Great with these shorts right here, cause see see the colors in the shorts again. That's black and white on the inside, and then they like a gray. So I thought I had this one to myself. I was gonna wear this with like some biker shorts or some kind of shorts, cause it's a really big shirt. It's an extra large men's shirt, and it was the only one in the store left like this. And I thought he wouldn't like it, but I got. I thought he would say it's too big, cause he don't. You know, Nigerians don't like wearing their clothes big. American guys like wearing their clothes big, but now a lot of American guys do wear their clothes fitted now. But look at me with this big t-shirt. <laughs> but yeah, I was gonna wear this with like some black bikers or some red bikers. Not white bikers. Could do white though, because there's a lot of white in it. Or I could have just like some fitted blue jean shorts. But I was really thinking I was gonna get this to myself. I was gonna get it for him, but then I thought he I got it for him, but I was hoping he would say, nah, that's too big. Because he don't like his stuff to be big. But when he saw it, he was like, No, I like it. That's the teddy bear. I didn't think he would like the teddy bear. I like the teddy bear. Look at the teddy bear guy on Jordan's. <laughs> it's teddy bear. It's so cool. And it says savage. That's what all this, the cursive all on it is savage, even on the sleeves. It's shirt. I love it. $3.99. I love it. $3.99. Cute little teddy bear. He got the little gold chain. Teddy bear is cool, y'all, with the Jordans on. I'm trying to tell you. I wanted this shirt so bad, I shouldn't even show it to him. But I thought he wouldn't like it because it's extra large. He's like, no, I like that. Is that Sean John? I said, it's not Sean John. It's just, it's just a t-shirt. Look at that. I saw the brand. I said, oh, you got to take his brand. Because I didn't notice the brand. The brand is Launder, but look down here what it says. And this is my last name. That's why I said, oh, you got to keep this. Baileyapparel.com. <laughs> Baileyapparel.com. I said, oh, well, you got to take it because it has my last name. It's the company. Baileyapparel.com. But I got this at Rose's. And then this shirt, because you know Roses is a Christian-owned store, um, so they have a lot of Christian shirts. They didn't have too many choices today, though, because some like people bought them all, or they haven't ordered more or something, or they just haven't put in the map. But I have come into the world as a light. He said, oh, I really like that one. I really like that one. So, yeah, getting that one, too. All of them go perfect with the shorts. And I like how it has an image of Christ, but it's not an image where you can see his features, which is good because you shouldn't be having images where you can see the features. Because we don't know what his features are. We know some, some, but I'd rather have an image like that. You didn't know roses was? Yeah, it is. That's why they have all those Christian shirts. They have a whole bunch of nice shirts that have like Christian sayings and stuff, but today they didn't, but usually they do have a whole bunch. And then I got another teddy bear. I thought he wouldn't like this one either, but he he did. But this is a cool teddy bear too, though. But look how he's standing like a little kid. And it says, whoa. You can't hardly see that it says, whoa, but it says, whoa. Does it say, whoa? It's backwards, so I can't read it backwards. W-O-A-H. An exclamation point. Whoa. Like, whoa. Yeah, it's just a little t-shirt. I'm loving these teddy bears. I love these little teddy bear shirts that Rosa's got. And he took both of them. I just knew he wasn't going to take them in the room. I just showed it to him. Thinking he'd be like, oh, no, that's too big. That's too big. And that is all. I can't show my Father's Day stuff on here. But that's what I got. Got him the last of his birthday stuff. He has some. Oh, let me be quiet because I don't know if he watches this sometimes because his data can be good sometimes. I'm not saying nothing else about his birthday to after his birthday. <laughs> so yeah, that's the shopping haul and the thrift haul. I hope y'all enjoyed the shopping haul slash thrift haul slash goodwill haul, whatever you want to call it. And I had a good fun time chatting with y'all as normal. You said hit the wall. I don't know what the wall is. 
I guess that's what it's talking about. I'm talking about like whoa from back in the day, Black Rob. You know, I'm out of touch with time. So hit the whoa. That's an actual dance. I'm going to have to look that up. Hit the whoa. It must be a TikTok or something. I don't do TikTok. Yeah, them teddy bears are cutting up, ain't they, Dolores? I like them. I like those teddy bears. Shoot. And that was the only two teddy bear shirts they had. The only two. I didn't look in the women's department, though. No, I did look in the women's department because I got my stuff from the women's department, duh. But I didn't see no teddy bears. The teddy bears was in the men's department. But I was going to keep that maroon when I really wanted it. That's all right. When he comes here and he bring that maroon in with him, I'm going to wear it when I want to wear it. Because I like Emma Roman. It, and then that just remind me, I'm a savage. I don't know the dance, though. How they do the dance to the savage. I don't know what they do. They do like that or something. I don't know. I'm all out of touch. I'm all out of touch. But I'm done. And I'm out of breath. Because I talk too much. I talk too much. I never shut up. I, I talk too much. I mean, I never shut up. That's why I'm about to shut up right now. And get off this live. I've been on here for an hour. And I hope more people watch later. If you watch later, tell me what you like best from this haul. What was your best item? Let me know in the comments what your best item was. If you're watching in here right now, let me know in the comments still when I close the live. Which item out of this thrift haul was your best item? And which item out of the stuff I got from Rose's discount was your best item? And those good jean shorts were from City Trends. So whatever. Which item out of the shopping haul part? did you like and which item out of the thrift haul part did you like the best let me know i want to know y'all ideas i want to know what y'all like now when you said the, this is the movie which movie i'm already look up here see which movie you talking about again because i recommend the twenty thousand movies to you irresistible love let me look and see if I can remember that movie. I was supposed to get my butt off her, but you didn't got me talking about this movie. I'm going to get off her in a second, but I got to see what movie it is that I got you over here watching so I can see. You said the men, I mean, so I want to know. Irresistible. I'm this Nollywood movie up. I suggested a whole bunch of Nollywood movies to you that day. It's bringing up, it's bringing up cave drama movies. Let me, Nollywood. Dang, it's a whole bunch of movies with that title. Which one did you, you might not even watch the one. I, did you go to the channel I told you to go to? Because when I search that, it's a whole bunch of other movies with that title. So I don't even know if, if, if you was able to find it. Nah, it's not too many with the same title. I see a Vicker movie with called Im Irres blah, 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 Irresistible Love, but that's not the one I was talking about. That's the only one that's coming up now. Is the oh here it is. Is that it? No. Uh which uh, I don't know which one the one that I was talking about. Because it this one has oh this the woman, the Nollywood Star TV one. And she kept getting bad men. It's Walter Anger and Ruth Kadiri, that one. That's the one you watching. Oh, you watching the wrong one. You watching the Van You watching the Van Vicker one. I didn't I ain't even watch that one. The one I'm talking about, I told you it was Ruth and Ruth Kodari. Yeah, you watched the wrong one. The one with Walter Anger and Ruth Kodari. Walter Anger and Ruth Kodari. It's on Nollywood Star TV. That's the name of the YouTube channel. That's the one I told you to watch. Not Nollywood Star. Nolly Star TV is the name of the YouTube channel. And it's called The, Irre the Irresistible Love. And it's Walter Anger and Ruth Kodari. Because it's like four Nollywood movies. Five Nollywood movies coming up with that title. So I haven't even watched that one with Van Bicker. So if that one's crazy, I might have to watch it. Was that one good? Was that one good with Van Bicker? I don't think I've watched that one. I can start watching it just to see if it's familiar when I when I get off here, but I don't think I've seen that one. Did you like it or was it not good? Because I ain't seen that one though. I was talking about the one you gotta watch is the one with Walter Anger and Ruth Kaderi. 
That's the one that I watched. You watch one when it has like three, about three, four parts. That one's one movie and one link. One part. Yeah, it has three, three parts to one you watch. This one's just one part, one movie, one part. You don't have to keep clicking the part two, part three, no. I might watch that one tomorrow. I got three parts. I have to watch it tomorrow. Them long ones you got to watch on a Saturday, even though I don't work during the week. But you got to watch it when you got more time. I don't like to watch them at night because I don't ever finish them because uh, I'll fall asleep or something. But yeah, y'all just comment in the comments when I get off here. Let me know y'all best items to talk from the shopping hall. I'm getting off here. If y'all want to know what movies I did recommend for Nova to watch in Hollywood, go back and look at my next last video, which was the thrift haul as well, I think, whatever it was, the last video. It was a shopping haul from Bluegrass Outlets. Look at that video. At the end of that video, I told her some good Nollywood movies to check out on YouTube. So y'all can go check them out in the channels that they were on. But she found a totally different one. And I guess it was good because she watched the, all three parts. <laughs> so now you got to watch the real one, Noble. Because that one was good. But I'm getting off her. Thank y'all, Team Random, for watching. Be blessed. Be a blessing. Thumbs up the video, please, 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 please. It don't hurt. It don't cost you nothing. It don't hurt. Like they say on other channels I watch, it don't cost you nothing because it's free and it don't cost you nothing. It's what that strong mommy Chrissy I watch. Uh, they got drama going on. She got drama going on. But yeah, I watch her. She said wants to get all likes and she gets like 500 likes because she has 100 and some thousand subscribers. But she gets 500 likes in her live video alone because she tells them she's not going to tell them the tea if she, if she gets 500 likes. But yeah, love y'all team random. Be blessed and be a blessing. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Share, share, share. Thumbs up the video. Comment down below. For the fourth, fifth time I done said this, which item was your best item? From the thrift towel and from the from the Goodwill. I thrifted at the Goodwill, of course. And from the shopping hall. And I will have a thrift of me video for this stuff I thrifted at the Goodwill. I just got the haul up before the thrift of me video. And I'll just connect it. At the end of the haul, uh, the thrift with me video, connect that to this haul video. Good night, y'all. Y'all have a blessed night. Y'all have a blessed weekend. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Deuces. Deuces, my people. Let's try to see. My eyes are not dark. This camera sucks. I'm going to get a new camera. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Good night, Dolores. Good night, Noble. Good night, Mandu, if you're still in here. And whoever else is watching, good night. Good night. Good night.